Welcome to the Lightning Fast How-To Series with the Informatica Cloud. Today we're going to talk about setting up a file connection to use with the Informatica Cloud. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, so the first screen is how do you set up your connection for files? Well, you give it a name and this can be anything that you want as long as you know what it is. If you have multiple different file directories, you will want to name it accordingly like System 1 files, System B files, um, other, other files, whatever you want to call it. Now you pick a type, uh, the pipe I'm picking is a CSV file. Um, of course, I'll show you in just a minute that it can be lots of different types, not just CSV. Uh, the directory is of course where those files are in context of where the agent is. So that agent that you install on your computer, um, the directory is based on from where the agent is, where's that directory. So if the agent on your computer, it's on CFF on your computer. If the agent's on your computer and the files are somewhere else, it'll be the share name. Uh, which would be something like share name uh, my share and uh, you can have spaces in here but, but most of the time we recommend not to just to avoid the troubleshooting also if you connect across the network you have to connect as a user that has access to those files across the network and I'll show you how to do that as well uh, date format is pretty important especially with files because uh, whatever date um, the different items in your file are you want to match them up here. Now, if they're not exactly right, we can change them later, but uh, that's not part of the discussion. Um, of course, then we have code page, and that's uh, UTF-8 for those fi files with special characters in it, or of course, uh, CSV files, or I mean, Windows Latin 1 files for other kinds. All right, so we can test our connection and we're good. Now let's go ahead and jump right into um, our computer. So if you take a look, um, go to start, and then programs, administrative tools, and services, you'll get this box right here. This is the Informatica Secure Agent running as a Windows service. Now, if you want to connect to network drives, you have to log in as a certain account. And I would definitely recommend finding it uh, from the list here, right, so that you make sure you get the right one. Because sometimes it adds a little weird stuff in here. Uh, make sure you're using passwords right and you're good. Um, if you're just connecting to files on your computer, you don't have to do that. Um, but let me show you. Here's my list of files that I have. Um, if you put stuff on the desktop, uh, notice that the path is not just desktop, but it is the full documents and settings, who you logged in as, and then desktop. And again, the agent has to have access to wherever these files are based on setting it up in the login too. All right, so uh, one last thing. Let's go ahead and try to make a connection or let's go ahead and try to make a, a new data synchronization task. Uh, we can call it test. Now our source is going to be those files that we picked. And now, of course, if you have different types of delimiters, um, you can pick it by a comma, but you can also do tab, colon, semicolon, or some other um, pipe or something that you want to be able to see the data. All right, and then, of course, you can pick um, account data. Um, let's put the right delimiter on there, and you're good to go. Thank you very much, and you guys have a great day.